morning to Soro and welcome to TNN. Today we'll be talking about prom, legally blonde, and golf, so stay tuned. Have you heard the newest headlines about legally blonde and how good of a show it was? Well, I'm going to talk to Mr. Hancock about that right now. So H, um, how did legally blonde turn out? Well, it's been an amazing show. Uh, we've had fantastic audiences, and it's been really well received. It's a really funny show, so just a lot of laughter. Wow, that's incredible. And do you, do you know if the tickets are sold out or if anyone can get any yet? Uh, we are officially sold out of the regular seats in there, but I hear that they're going to be setting up some folding chairs um, to allow anybody who wants, or at least as many people as we can legally fit into the theater, uh, to see the show uh, at the night of the show. And the last question I have for you, H, is um, what are the reviews you've heard from the audience members who've seen the show? Well, um, I mean, so many parents and community members and other students have said it's the funniest show they've ever seen. They're just amazed at the amount of talent that we have. You've heard it from H. You guys need to go see Legally Blonde. I'm here outside the choir room reporting for TNN. Legally Blonde looks like such a good show. I, I love, I just love the movie so much. I love Jennifer Coolidge in it. She's such a funny character. And the musical, just 10 times better. Love they it. did amazing, all the I actors. Know. I saw it last night and it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. They had two real dogs in it too. It was really <laughs> good. so funny. Aww. Well, I'm Dib. I'm Jill. And I'm Elle. Special shout out to Mr. Hallam, it's his birthday. 30 looks good on you. <laughs> Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today is the last day to buy your tickets before prices go up. Currently, tickets are at their lowest price, $80 with ASB and $90 without. Prices go up $10 at 3 p.m. today, so don't wait. Last day to buy any tickets is May 11th. Quick reminder, prom is May 14th at the House of Blues. Want to know a little bit more about tickets? Here's a video from Izzy. Hi, I'm Izzy Watts in the front office here with Karen reporting for TNN. Have you ever thought of going to prom this year when you finally can dress up? Well, we're going to talk about when you can buy your tickets and how to. So Karen, when are tickets on sale? Tickets are on sale right now. You can either buy them online or at the ASB store. Okay. Wonderful. And how much can you purchase them for? They are $80 with ASB and $90 without. Awesome. And where's the venue at? The venue is at the House of Blues, and it's Saturday... May 14th. Wow, awesome. The date's approaching really soon. So when are the best times we can buy tickets? As soon as possible before April 29th. They will be $80 with ASB or $90 without. Wow, you better get your tickets soon, guys, before the prices go up. I'm Izzy reporting inside the office reporting for TNN. I know I have to get my ticket really soon. I can't I, forget. I bought mine. Super excited for it. Cannot wait for prom. I can't wait. <laughs> well... Uh, want to bring a guest to prom? Tickets are $100 for guests. Any guests you want to bring must have a guest contract on file. Contracts can be picked up from the ASB store or online as well. Even if you are bringing a Tesoro underclassman, they still must have a guest contract on file. More prom info. If y'all are planning on bringing a bus or a limo to prom for 12 or more people, you have to turn in a bus contract. Pick one up at the ASB store as well or download it online at the ASB web store. Contracts are due by May 6th. Unfortunately, if you have any library debts at all, you are unable to purchase a ticket until those debts get paid. This, in this includes books from first semester, books from drop classes, or Chromebook fines. Titans, make sure to get those debts paid ASAP so you can buy your ticket. Also, juniors, your prompt theme location has been announced for photos. Pictures will be at Heritage Park in Dana Point at 3 p.m. See y'all there. Today is the prom theme reveal. For all of you dedicated TNN viewers, here's the first ever reveal of the theme. Enjoy. Gatsby. Tom. So you're going to the party out sport? What party do you mean? Well, it's one of the biggest party of the year. You don't mean prom. Of course I do. Looks like I gotta find myself a date. So? You coming to the party tonight? 
The one at the House of Blues? Of course I am. When have you ever known me to miss a party, Jay? Party starts at 7. When should I pick you up? You said you're picking me up. Daisy, we're leaving. Let's go. May 14th. I'll see you there. Oh my gosh. That's the theme. I'm I so love excited. That is. I love the book. I love it. I Super. hope you guys like it. So exciting. It's so fun. <laughs> so excited. Can't wait for prom, guys. <laughs> well, that is all I have for my portion of the show. Now, on to Jilly with current events. Attention, are you interested in joining the Color Guard? There's a clinic going on May 24th, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And tryouts are May 26th, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Tesoro Food Court. Seniors, I know we've all checked out of school, but your book wants to fe feature you and your school plans in the books. There's a Google form sent out to your Canvas email, so go check it out. Tesoro Theater Arts presents Legally Blonde. There is a show tonight at 7 p.m. tomorrow and 6 p.m. Use the link on Canvas to buy your tickets now. You know it, you love it. It's the minute that you set your alarm for every Wednesday and Friday morning, even though we always end up airing the show at a different time. Can you guess it? I'm just going to assume you did. Waste a minute. Today for you, we have Troy and John here to waste a minute about what happened to Troy's hair and why it looks like that. <laughs> so I got a haircut. <laughs> and that's it. I thought it was time for a change, so I got a haircut. Mm. I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> look. It looks better than Helm said. <laughs> what? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, so Ellie over there just said it looked uh, it looks better than Mr. Hallam's hair, but you know, guys, it's his birthday. Have some class. Come on. I, I've really had enough. Up. This is why I forget your question. I just want to point out the fact that we make fun of Mr. Hallam a lot. Yeah. And it's his birthday today. I know. It's his Honestly, birthday. Honestly, no, and you know what? I never make fun of Mr. Hallam, you know? And yeah. people call me a teacher's pet for that. But, yeah. like, listen, this is why nobody watches TNN. Because, no, because we, don't have prof we, we don't have respect. We don't have professionalism. Like, seriously, guys. So this is starting enough. today, no more making fun <laughs> no of Mr. Hallam. No more making fun of Mr. Hallam, okay? No more. We're right, not going to have done. it. Me and okay. John are... The, the, I, we're part of the... I slapped Troy because he made fun of Mr. Yeah, Hallam. we're part of the Mr. I, Hallam I, confer, I converted him. I converted Troy to no more making fun of Mr. Hallam. And this hand is ready to convert anybody else, okay? So happy birthday, Mr. Hallam. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> I think we forgot about the real question here. Troy's yeah. hair. Like, what? I mean, he might say it was just a haircut, but, you know, I'm sure Mr. Hallam thought that at some point. Wait a couple of years and you'll be bald, too, Troy. Yeah, um, maybe, what's the nair? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they'll help him. And I don't know what they're talking about. I don't think I've ever made fun of Mr. Hallam, like, ever. So, you know. Me neither. We would never. Well, Josie interviewed our own, one and only Titan Tribune, the school's first newspaper. Let's check it out. Good morning, Tesoro. I'm Josie, here in the 900 Hall, reporting for TNN. Our school newspaper just came out. It is called the Titan Tribune, so all of you need to go definitely check it out because it's a pretty cool website. What helped you come up with the idea to start a school newspaper? We're just the only school in the district that doesn't have a school newspaper, and we thought it was an important place for students to voice their opinions. It is a great source of information, and I'll read all the articles, and you should too. So Alex, why did you want to be the news editor for the school newspaper? Um, I just thought it would be a great way to spread current events um, about the world around us to our students. Current events, we do it on TNN, and it is definitely very important for students to stay updated. What is one goal you have for the school newspaper? We hope to uh, establish it as a class eventually, so that it can be a legacy that continues after Alex and I and the editorial team graduate. Um, a big one is also possibly having a printed newspaper. Those are both great goals and I hope that we can definitely reach those as part of the newspaper club. So I'm Josie here in the 900 Hall reporting for TNN. School newspaper is a great idea especially as a class. I think that would be awesome. Unfortunately I'm graduating but Mr. Hallam is still here so I think he should take on the role as teacher for that class. On to more serious matters. On Monday we had our mock crash to spread awareness for drunk driving. Roll the video. You and 
neither of the cars? Okay, what let's stand over here. Okay. Why are you thinking? Why did you get in the car? Are like uh, like uh, you okay, okay, Zach? You're Just okay. Stay out of the way. Okay, we'll get you yeah, out. Yeah. We'll get you out. Are you okay, Zach? So, is this your car? It's my dad's car. It's your dad's car? Okay. We don't need How many people are in that car? No. How many? Four. four. Yeah, a total of four? Four. Okay. Do you know how many people are in that car right there? No. No? Do you know any of those people by chance? Yeah. Uh, you do? Yeah. And what's it? Do you know that girl's name? Yeah. He was. He was a driver of this black car right Driver of this car and you yeah. got yourself out? Yeah. How old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm 17, 17. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Have you been drinking? It was It was just like one or, or two. I I wasn't, it wasn't okay. that. Yeah, I smell something too. Good enough, I'll talk to him. How to say how I feel. You went in soul. You were my best friend I could ever ask for. I'm so lucky to grow up by your side. This world is so unfair and you were taken from a chapter of her life. She was so excited for it. Always with a smile on her face, she was an inspiration to others. Mission Bay, Sorco Engine 58. We're uh, just arrived at scene of a two-vehicle rollover collision at uh, the intersection of Oso and Tesoro Creek. We've got multiple victims ejected. Uh, we've got at least six patients, so let's go ahead and make this a mass casualty incident. We've got two confirmed dead at the scene. It looks like uh, two critical traumas. One of them's going to be an extrication problem. He's trapped in the back seat of one of the vehicles. The lady said she could drive! Okay, well, you stay out of the way. We're going to be getting your friends out. You know Zach? Okay, we're going to have Zach out in a couple of minutes. All right. Copy. Uh, we are uh, establishing uh, MCI. Uh, engine 58, firefighter paramedic will so, be Medcom. I'm going to have you take nine steps. Do you understand the test, or do you need me to show it again? Yes. Uh, yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Mission Base, okay, Engine 58. 58, Mission Base, go and ahead. right here. You're going to be okay. Is he okay? Airlines, Gertie coming in. Okay. Mission off. Patient number four, 17 year old male. He's going to remain here, at least for now, in custody of CHP for field sobriety assessment and we have two confirmed DOAs that are going to re uh, remain at the scene awaiting court. Special thank you to all of our TNN kids that helped out, all the ASB kids that acted in it, and all of the OC sheriffs and police officers and the ambulances that came and helped out. This is a really important thing and we love to show you guys and spread awareness. Well, that's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Ellie with sports. Thanks, Jill, the girl who also cooks on the grill. You really killed the mood over here. Like, now it's so sad. Anyway, the Sorrel Swim, JV girls, and boys both won league. Varsity Swim has league finals today. Varsity Baseball boys have a game against Dana Hills today at home at 3. You better come, or at least swing over. Boys Varsity Lacrosse ran, or ran, won their game last night against St. Clemente and are headed to CIS. Amazing job, boys. Girls Varsity Softball are Seaview League championship champions. Oh my gosh. It was 9 to 1 victory over Chibuco Hills High School. Today, there's a Seaview League finals for track at St. Clemente. The meet starts at 4 p.m. Come support your favorite runners. I will be there cheering them on because to unseen circumstances, this is the last track meet for many runners. So if your lifelong desire was to watch a track meet, today is your day. <laughs> Golf, the sport that is underrated and needs to be talked about. Here I am talking about it. Boys golf finished the season 16-0 and 8-0 in the South Coast League. 
It was an undefeated season for the first time in our team's history. Tesoro surf team was shredding over the weekend. The girls led by Isabel Krieger, Katie Sack, and Marissa took the girls state championship and followed that up with a second in longboard. The team boys and girls placed second overall. Isabel Krieger, to remind you, is only a sophomore, followed up her girls surf team state title with individual shortboard and longboard state titles. That is all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Dunkin' Donuts to finish off the show. That's all I have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Have a fun and fabulous Friday. Happy birthday, Mr. Helm.